If you keep your windows closed a lot because it's hot outside and you want to save on the electricity or, or maybe you have a gas stove, you may be surprised to hear the kind of toxins that could be polluting the air that you breathe in your home. Consumer Reports explains some simple steps to improve the air quality. While newer, more tightly sealed home construction improves energy efficiency, Consumer Reports says it is also partly to blame for indoor pollutants. Where are they coming from? Gas stoves, for one. Tests by Consumer Reports confirm they're a possible source of toxicity and are cause for concern. So what can you do? Think ventilation. Use your range hood every time you cook and open windows to get the fresh, clean air from the outside in. Other pollutants? VOCs, or volatile organic compounds emitted from cleaning agents, pesticides, aerosols, even couches and carpets. Irritants to your throat, nose, and eyes. Some may even cause cancer cancer. The solution? Whenever possible, avoid using harsh chemicals to clean your home. If you can't, again, think of ventilation. Open windows and doors. And buy mattresses and furnishings that use natural fibers, like cotton. Keep your home dust-free, use a vacuum with a HEPA filter to trap contaminants, and clean or change the filters in your air conditioner. Air purifiers can also help. Allen, Winix, and Blue Air models earn top marks in Consumer Reports tests and will run between $275 and $741. You'll likely smell our next pollutant, mold. Often caused by humidity, it can cause rashes, flu-like symptoms, eye and lung irritation. Consider a dehumidifier. Consumer Reports highly rates Honeywell, Medea, and Home Labs and will run between $200 and $320. If your mold stems from a recent weather disaster, you might be eligible for federal assistance. Check out this website for details. And that odorless, colorless, sometimes fatal gas, carbon monoxide? Install a detector on every level of your home and outside each sleep area. Consumer Reports also recommends checking for radon. It's a radioactive gas that can seep into your home from water and soil. And if your house was built around 1980 or before, check for asbestos and lead as well. You may want to work with a professional to see what options you have to make sure your home is safe.